Hi, welcome to this tutorial on perpendicular vectors. Now I've got here two vectors A and B, A having components A1, A2, A3 and B components B1, B2, B3. Now if the angle between the two vectors let's say is theta we should know from the scalar product that cos theta equals A dot B all divided by the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. And if I was to multiply both sides of this equation by the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, then what we would get is that A dot B would equal the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle theta, the angle between the two vectors. Now let's take the special case when the two vectors are perpendicular, in other words at right angles. So we're looking that when theta equals 90 degrees. And if theta is 90 degrees it follows from that that the cosine of 90 degrees equals 0. So if we've got 0 here anything multiplied by 0 will be 0. So the conclusion is that therefore a dot b will equal 0. And if a equals a1i plus a2j plus a3k and a similar result for b then it follows that a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus a3 times b3 must equal 0. So this is a very important result to remember if you've got two perpendicular vectors. Now I'd like to show you how we can use this in a few examples. And here's a typical one. Are the vectors 3i minus 4j plus 2k and i minus 2j minus 3k perpendicular? Well if they are we would expect the dot product of the two to be 0. So let's just see what that dot product is. So I'm going to write them as 3i minus 4j then plus 2k and I'm going to dot that with the other vector i minus 2j minus 3k. Of course you could write these as column vectors if you want. So what do we get when we dot them? Well we're going to have 3 times the 1 here so we've got 3 times 1 and then we've got plus minus 4 times minus 2 minus 4 times minus 2 and then plus 2 times the minus 3. What does that give us? 3 plus 8 minus 6 a total of 5 which isn't equal to 0. So therefore our two vectors are not perpendicular. So the conclusion is therefore not perpendicular. Okay well that's one example. Here's another one. Find the value of x for which the vectors xi plus 2xj minus 3k is perpendicular to the vector 5i minus 3j plus k. So we know that if they're perpendicular that the dot product of them must be 0. This time I'll write them as column vectors. So we've got x, 2x and minus 3 and if we dot this with the other vector 5 minus 3, 1, we should expect to get 0. And if we do this what we end up with is that we get 5x minus 6x minus 3 equals 0. So 5x minus 6x gives us minus x minus the 3 equals 0 and if we add x to both sides we end up with x equaling minus 3. All right. So hopefully that's given you some idea of how we can use the scalar product for perpendicular factors. 
that the scalar product should always equal zero.